those in power will seek to remain in power. You have to make power moves in cryptocurrency. There's a couple new technologies that I was looking into in regards to decentralized social media. Richard Brand recently got demonetized on YouTube, so that was kind of a big deal. He's over on Rumble as well, um, but they have not liked his message in regards to calling out the COVID scam, calling out other things. They do not like those guys. They could get rid of a guy like Joe Rogan. They would love to get rid of him and others as well. Um, now, it seemed like they kind of cooled this whole demonetization and deplatforming thing there for, for a bit. Obviously, when the tide turned so hard that it seemed like everybody that was kind of a conspiracy theory uh, suddenly turned out that they were right, um, you know, kind of thing. So now that being said, we live in this dystopian future and, um, you know, there's definitely never been a time that's more important to have decentralized social media but it's been very, very hard for any of these to like catch uh, major, major traction and um, really kind of gain a stronghold for various different reasons. Whether that's a marketing issue, which that's oftentimes gonna be the issue, whether that's kind of a technological barrier where it's too complicated to use. Um, but a couple, a couple projects that I wanted to mention, there's one called DSO, and they actually do have some platforms up there that are built on this. Um, but basically the picture in the video hosting is actually held on the blockchain where as previous iterations of, of these blockchains, um, let's say let's say like Steam, Hive, Blur, DTube, all this kind of stuff, the hosting is not taking place actually on the blockchain. It's um, That's all text-based, so it'll be a link to something else. So you're gonna have to have other picture storage, you know, other file storage to um, store video, pictures, that kind of thing. Now, um, that becomes an issue if people have put stuff up and then if a server gets taken down or something else or someone moves on from it, something goes down, you know, then all the links are broken essentially. Um, now, there's obviously, um, you know, issues storing everything on the blockchain, but DSO and the internet computer are two technologies that have sought to try to fix this issue and make something that um, where you could store the stuff on the actual blockchain. Now, um, Richard Brand, you know, I go, go back to this, Richard Brand got demonetized on YouTube and, you know, Fresh and Fit podcast, which if you don't know who that is, it's maybe like this kind of like manosphere dating, uh, sort of red pill kind of space uh, that these guys would bring people into their podcast, these women in, into, you know, podcasts in Miami and basically talk to them about different things like dating, meeting guys, Instagram, all this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's, it's sort of insightful on everybody's kind of mindset and all this, but the powers that be, they don't, they don't like that message. They don't like the way that they would talk. They don't like that, you know, they would kind of like put out these truth bombs from my perspective, um, on some of this stuff, you know, and, and it's, it's again, everything's became so kind of feminized and so beta ties um, that, you know, that that's sort of the message that's being pushed by uh, Hollywood on social media. And there's, you know, 100% evidence that the U.S. government, you know, told these social media networks to, you know, take these different people down at various times, especially during the COVID, you know, scamdemic that they were trying to push this whole vaccine narrative. People were going against it or showing other stuff that shows that the vaccine was not going to work, including the guy who created mRNA technology, um, speaking out against it. And then they're just acting like, oh, don't don't worry about that. He's, you know, they're just making stuff up. They're anti-vax. They're um, conspiracy theorists, this and that. So they want to control the narrative. Those in control seek to remain in control. And... Um, you know, for you to kind of get into control or have your voice heard, because it's always been an attention economy, but now more so than ever, it's an attention economy, whether that be on Instagram. And this can be naturally curated, um, you know, that you can use something like Instagram, you can use something like YouTube, you can use something like Twitter that, um, you know, this, this kind of naturally curates and kind of shows sort of what has the most traction or what has kind of garnered the most eyeballs. 
to some capacity. Um, now, again, now more than ever, we, did, we do need these decentralized platforms, but sometimes the funding mechanism from an investment perspective and from a, like an internet real estate perspective, it's had a hard time sort of getting enough traction. Also, if the people who kind of garner control, they don't want to lose that control to somebody else who might be able to add value to the network, but it compromises that person's potential earnings who's already in control. So why would they want this other person to sort of um, commandeer their control? Um, so it kind of counteracts itself in some respects. And we've seen this, we've seen this on Steam, we've seen it on Hive. Um, you know, there's always a fork and a fork and a fork and a fork. So everybody wants to kind of put their own spin on it. It's very hard to come up with an original idea to sort of reinvent this instead of just trying to quote unquote put some of these previous products on the blockchain let's put a let's put like a you know let's put this blog on the blockchain let's put you know let's have like a, a cryptocurrency version of twitter or let's have a cryptocurrency version of youtube um but they're not kind of able to drive from the same funding source and the tokenomics have to be right and it has to have an easy enough to use to be a viral effect all these kind of things so Anyway, DSO is one that I was looking at. Somebody mentioned it, and then um, I actually started looking into it more. Uh, but essentially, DSO and the internet computer have tried to kind of take the next step in the evolution to actually be able to have file storage on the blockchain and not just have references to pictures and to videos like a lot of this, the previous iteration. Because if you're on Steam, Hive, Blur, DTube. It's more of a URL, it's a reference to a picture that's stored somewhere, somewhere else on another file server. If that file server goes down, the link is broken. Um, so what DSO has tried to do and what the internet computer has tried to do is try to facilitate the ability to store that stuff on the blockchain. Now that can become cumbersome. Obviously this files can be, get very, very big. Now if we've, as we've seen, with various different blockchains, they've become bogged down, whether that be with spam, whether that be with real transactions. And, um, you know, that can make it so that the, the fees, you know, go through the roof. So it's like, it has to be like, you have to have like a limited amount of friction. People can post, people can create accounts, people can do that relatively seamlessly but you don't want flood of bot accounts. Even Elon Musk was talking about with Twitter that um, he's thinking about charging for each person to be able to post to try to knock down on these bots and the spam. And that's something that blur. And this is this is a this is a takeaway that some people don't like. Let's say blur, um, because you're visibly seeing how much each transaction costs. It costs you to do everything. It costs you to follow someone. It costs you to like, you know, costs you to like something. It costs you to make a comment. It costs you to uh, essentially do anything. And they make it visible. Now, it costs you on the other chains as well, um, but they mass that a little bit more within the inflation and um, through various mechanisms to... Um, make it so that you don't have infinite power. You can't just like create a bot farm and just blow out comments to every single account without having some sort of investment in the blockchain and some sort of, sort of power in there. And, um, you know, I think that everybody's trying to address this issue or try to figure out what is, what is gonna be the thing that works. And even if someone gets to a point where the tokenomics and everything are correct, it's very hard to say, well, was it marketed at the right time? Did they have the right marketing push to make it so that it could go viral enough to where people would stick around and post on there? And um, this is one of the things that I realized because it's very hard to sort of un onboard different people onto these social networks. And then you think, why are people posting on Instagram? Why are they posting on Facebook when, you know, there's nothing to be gained there, like monetarily, potentially. I mean, I know like, Facebook is monetized now. Um, 
and you know you can earn a certain amount obviously off brand deals and, and different things like this if you had huge huge followings you know on instagram that kind of thing but um people don't really kind of see it as a status builder on this other stuff that the network effect isn't as big people are posting and a lot of people don't realize this people are posting on instagram to create this kind of quick visual resume essentially that'll help elevate your status and you see this definitely and that could be to promote a business that could be to promote yourself in the dating market um that's often what it's honestly used for uh that it really is kind of a dating app but it's sort of the second la layer of a dating app or second layer of um you know kind of getting to that next step that you're communicating with someone even if you met them in person or something you might share instagram handles and then they kind of get a quick look and they kind of you know sort of come up with this um synopsis of what do they think about you based on all these different things and and i've talked to a lot of guys about this where we've tried to make our instagrams to where you're showing like enough facets of yourself that you could quickly kind of represent these different things that you do whether that's travel um, whether that's some kind of car related thing whether that's you ski or snowboard um whether that's like you lift weights you know all these kind of things you're trying to show off your physique these different things and um on these other social networks they haven't they've been um niche enough that people didn't feel like that it would increase their status in their social circle or in their world now in my world because part of my world is cryptocurrency obviously i've been in crypto for 10 years it does increase my status to be on steam blurt hive dtube all these and to check out these other offerings you know from like dso and internet computer and to see if what they've got going is going to be the next iteration now the interesting thing about the internet computer and i'm going to have to dive into it further it is evm compatible seems to be one second block times uh, which is which is definitely an advancement for most chains that are three second obviously um, not as fast as the eos io software which is 0.5 seconds per block and then solana is 0.4 seconds per block but it seems to go at, go down like every month um but that being said the internet computer could be and i'm gonna have to investigate into it further because their tokenomics could be off the price was way up and then it has really crashed and it's like long tailed out and it keeps getting burn off burn off burn off could be an investment play it's something i'm looking into i'm not saying you guys should jump in there i'm not saying i'm going to be throwing a bunch of money at it i'm investigating into it um but if it does have the ability to reliably store images and video cheaply um which i'm skeptical of and maybe that's one of the reasons that the tokenomics have continued to bleed off i don't know um it could be something to look at and it could create more decentralization away from sort of the centralized servers and centralized file sharing mechanisms that we've seen with uh, some of the other solutions so anyway guys looking at those and um you know kind of commandeering some of these networks or taking a big position in these networks sometimes you have to look at it a different way too what kind of social clout do you get in the cryptocurrency world if you took a big position in some of this stuff and other people knew it it'd be analogous in some respects of people flexing their watches flexing their supercars flexing their jets um that they gain a certain amount of status in that if you can gain a certain amount of status in the cryptocurrency market by taking a big, big position on certain chains uh, that could potentially bid well and you have power in the system and power to sort of direct the motion of that platform just like elon musk obviously purchasing twitter um giving him a certain amount of visibility now most people would sort of agree he paid too much uh, it really wasn't that great of a deal and in some respects he probably wishes he was out of it uh, but that being said he can sort of steer the platform in a way that he wants it to go and um at the end of the day you know it's a big power play we'll see how it works out uh, you could maybe do the same thing in the cryptocurrency market. 
you know, myself and some of my associates, you know, we're looking to do a similar type thing and um, just seeing if, you know, that makes sense and exploring these other technologies that might be a kind of a big buzz if they can get enough users on boarded and, um, you know, technologically, if it is an advancement, it could be something for the next kind of go around. Again, internet, computer, and DSO, looking at them, haven't, invest, haven't invested, so that's like full disclosure on that. Anyway, guys, do you guys think you'll invest in DSO or internet computer? Have you looked into them already? Follow me on all social media, at Brian Phobos, YouTube, Instagram, Steam, at Twitter, Hive, DTube, Blur, everywhere. See you guys.